In this video, we're going to take a look at adding screens to a project and adding actions to make screen changes. Uh, so here I'm in Storyboard, and this is right after performing my Photoshop import process. So I've got a Photoshop file for a home automation UI, and um, this is the start screen that I've got. What I'd like to do is add a couple more um, screens, and in my design, I had a design for the settings screen and the weather screen is as well. Um, and if I, from the application model, um, right click and go edit all layers, what I can do is get a sort of bird's eye view of everything, um, all, the, all the layers in my project. So this is that weather screen, I've got that top menu screen, the thermostat, settings, background, and so on. Um, so what we're going to do is just build up those next screens. So at the top of the um, menu here, I've got an icon to add a new screen. And if I click that, a little dialog appears. And I'm given the option to uh, name my screen. So we'll call this the weather screen. And now I can start picking the layers that I want to have on there. Um, so I want the top bar layer to be on top of everything else. So I'll select that first. And then I'll select the weather layer and the background um, layer, which is the menu layer, um, I'll put that at the back. So now when I hit OK, we have this new screen um, that's in our application. And if I want to do that again, you know, I can uh, right click in the application model, I can add a screen um, this way, go to add, add screen, and here I got that same uh, dialog that comes up, and for this we'll add the settings screen. So here, I'll get that top bar layer again, move that over, there's our settings layer, and then there's that menu layer. And when I hit finish, now we've got this sort of three screen app, weather screen, settings screen, and home automation. Now this name um, got picked up for the screen from the Photoshop file. The Photoshop file was called home underscore automation, so the screen automatically got named that. Um, but if I want, I can rename this, and I'm gonna do that, call this, thermostat underscore screen, and then that's a little bit more consistent um, with what I want to do. So now that I've got these screens, what I'd like to do is connect them all to one another. Uh, so what we're going to do is add actions that perform screen changes. So if I select a button um, for the weather screen, uh, what I can do is go back up to the top here, and here we've got that A for action, and we can add a new action. So when I click that, this is the action um, window that comes up. And you have a bunch of trigger events. Um, so for example, if I had a touch event um, or a press event, um, you know, I can put those into the event filter and then um, I'm given a list of various trigger events. Um, so here, a mouse button or touch screen has been depressed. So when I do that, um, I can make a screen change. So if I start typing in screen into the action to select, here are all the different sorts of uh, screen actions that are available to me. Um, screen, this right here will do an instantaneous change um, to the screen we pointed at. If I select screen fade, uh, this will do a fade into the next screen that I want to go to. So let's take a look at how that looks. Um, when I set my action parameters, I can say which screen we're going to go to, and that's the weather screen. This is how long it's going to take in milliseconds. 500's a little long, so I'm going to change it to 350, and this is our frame rate, and we can choose, you know, um, what rate of easing that we want to use, and so on. Um, so when I hit finish, in my actions view, when I have this button selected, um, we can see that we've got that action for the screen fade. Um, that's in there. And then all of those options, like the duration and frame rate, that's, that's being shown in the properties view. So um, if I want to do another change to the settings screen, um, I can do that. Now a real quick way to sort of um, add actions to your project is I can copy that action for the screen fade, and I can go to my settings button, and in here I can just paste that action. Um, so here, 
WordPress screen fade. Um, and now this is also going to go to the weather screen, but if you go to that properties view, you, you can make these changes. So I'll say, yes, let's go to the settings screen and I could keep everything else the same. Um, and then all we'd need is a way to get home. So if I take this thermostat um, button, paste that action in again, here, all I have to do is change it to the thermostat screen. Now, at a later point, if I decided that I didn't want to use the screen fade, what I can do is double click in there, and I have a list of all those actions again, everything. So if I wanted it to trigger an animation instead, um, and then perform a screen change, I could do that. So um, here I could do uh, screen cube 3D. Um, we'll see how that looks. And then the options that you're given are a little bit different. So when I say screen cube 3D, um, here I've got the same duration, same frame rate, um, but this is giving me a direction, so it could rotate um, you know, from the left here, I'll select top, and you can see the difference um, when, uh, when we run this. So to run our application, here I'm just going to save the changes that I've made in my project, and then this icon here is for the simulator. So when I click this, our application runs. If I go to the weather screen, get that screen fade to the weather, and then here for settings, we get the screen fade settings, and here we'll get that cube flip, um, which is that there. So that is how to add screens to a project and add actions for screen changes working in the storyboard.